So the next project out here on the uh, Garner family farm is to uh, build a fence for our goat. So I got a little, I went and bought some stuff uh, this morning, about 200 foot of fence, and I'm gonna try to set up a fence for the for our goats, which we don't have yet. So I gotta get the fence first. So again, not sure, no, don't know what I'm doing very much, but I've been watching a lot of videos. My plan is to start here. It's gonna run up to up there, about I don't know, 75 feet or so. Then I'm gonna go across, across there, about where that wood is on the ground. It's kind of my half-ass marker. And I got another piece of wood over there. And I'm gonna bring it right there to the corner of that chicken coop. So this whole area here, when I'm done, should be a fenced off section for the goats. And I believe I'll be able to allow the chickens out then too. And they can just roam in here. And then, um, you know, you gotta have a shelter for them so they'll be able to go inside this barn. And, uh, yeah. So I'll probably set up some kind of places for them to climb on up here a little bit. And then, uh, maybe some of the feeders or something in there. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll see how it works out. So here's roughly the plan. I'm putting, I'm gonna put an H post right here. There's a brace right up against that shed. And I'm gonna put these two bars somewhere between eight and nine feet apart. I think I got just enough of that to work out. Kind of got them laid out how I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> then right over here, gonna be a corner. Corner post, and I'll cut that in half and do the brace between the two. And then it'll make this turn here, straight down there. <clears throat> and the same thing here. Corner post, turn. Let's just go to the left side of where this door is for the chicken coop. And I'll do another, I'll do another eighth brace right up against the uh, chicken coop. The only thing I haven't worked out yet is where I'm putting the gate to get in and out. Now I want it to be big enough to take the lawnmowers and tractors out. Of course, I don't know if I want that stuff in here when the goats are in here, so. After this fence, the next project is building a shelter for the all the equipment we got here. The tractor and the lawnmower. But anyway, the gate, I think the gate, if I do the first 100, 100 feet fence, I think it ends like right here, so maybe I'll do the gate right here. Uh, I don't know if I want it there, but it might be the smartest way if it works out. But I'll make it big enough to get the equipment in and out. But that's the plan. Let's we'll see if it uh, actually works out. Now that'll get that, and then I got some extra fence over there that I'll put between those two right there. So, yep, we'll see. All right, so this is what I got up so far. I just got it rolled out. I don't have it, have it tightened up yet, but I got my I got my corner braces all cemented in and let them settle overnight, and I'm getting ready to kind of rigged up a system to tighten this. And not sure if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I know by watching a bunch of the videos, you're supposed to get a get a stretcher bar and then get it come along on top and bottom, and then just tighten them up between the braces and then secure it. Well, 
I'm using one of the T posts as a stretcher bar. I got it weaved in there. And I got a ratchet strap on top and bottom. And I'm gonna try to tighten it up just like that. Uh, not sure if it'll work. I think it will, but uh, we'll see. So I think I got it pretty tight. Uh, I tightened it up and this was, this was attached here when I was just having it holding up. So that's about how much I stretched. I got the slack out. Well, that's about a foot. So not much, but I ran out of strap room. So I wound up uh, getting in real slowly back in the tractor up to get that straight. But uh, I think that's about where I need it. Once I secure it, it'll be in there good. Yeah, so I think that's good and tight. So, I think it kind of worked. I guess we'll see. Okay, finally got the uh, goat pen finished, and we got the goats here behind me. Got them just a couple hours ago, and one of them's already escaped. So uh, I had to try to mitigate some of that. Hopefully, I've got it done. We'll see. I was trying to get. I was in a hurry a little bit to go get them today because I want to go ahead and get them over here. And I had tightened this side up, but I didn't tie these on. So one of them was able to push against the bottom of the fence and get out underneath it. So I put a couple more T-posts in there and I've tied them off the way I should have before I got them over here. But now it's got me nervous about all these other long stretches. It's only eight feet, but that's why I put these pallets, that brick, put some fence, old fencing I had. It's just junk fence. I've kind of pin it and put it up again so they can't. And I'll probably put another brick or a piece of wood. Uh, I guess we'll see overnight whether they stay in or not. Thought I had it locked down, but I mean, it took them 15 minutes to figure out how to get out. So that's my goat pen. Hopefully I can get it shored, shored up uh, and it stop any more escapes because they don't come to us. So it, it took us a while to get her back in. Anyway, make sure you like, share, comment below. Let me know what you think. What am I doing wrong? Um, hopefully I don't wake up with a missing goat in the morning. It makes it even harder because it ain't like they come to us. Anyway, comment below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.